question 30. So this uh, structure is a beta carotene uh, and it will oxidize by hot concentrated acidified chemical form. Okay, so here we know that the CC double bonds will break and form different products. Okay, now when an individual molecule of beta carotene is oxidized in this way, many products mo molecules are formed. How many of these product molecules contain a ketone functional group? Okay, so we need to uh, <clears throat> uh, let these molecules undergo bond break and we look at the products okay, one by one. Okay, let's uh, start from left. Okay, so uh, these double bonds undergo bond break and this one also undergo bond break. When these two CC double bonds uh, break, okay, it's broken. So then these molecules will form. Okay, means uh, this part, okay, this carbon, okay, will because it's bonded to two alkyl group, so it will form ketone here. And this one also will form another ketone. And these carbons will form carboxylic acid because it's one alkyl group and one hydrogen is bonded to it. Okay, so uh, most likely it will form this molecule. Okay, and let's look at another one. If let's say now this CC double bonds break, okay, so this one break, this one break, then it will form this uh, uh, part. Okay, and this part okay, will form this carbon will form COOH, means this one. And this carbon will form this ketone. So this is how it looks like uh, after the CC uh, double bonds break. So means, uh, again, for this part, for this part, so it will form this molecule. This molecule has ketone, eh? right? Okay, so now we uh, proceed with another one. Okay, so continue this one. Okay, if this one break, then this part, uh, initially, of course, it will form the uh, this uh, dicarboxylic acid. Okay, and it will further oxidize to CO2 and H2O. So it means it will not form ketone, right? Okay, and let's continue. Let's say this one break. Then it will form this fragment, or oh, sorry, this uh, this part. So this section will form uh, this molecule as well, right? Again, this one will form COOH. This one, and this one will form ketone, right? This one. Okay, so it will form the same molecule, and it has ketone, right? Let's continue. Okay, this one break, then this part will form uh, CO2H2O, as I told you just now. Okay, and this one break, then it will form CO2H2O again. And let's continue. Let's, let's say this one break, then it will form this part. And this part will further oxidize to form this molecule. Okay, this molecule actually is same as this molecule is similar all right okay so again these carbons will oxidize to form this ketone okay and this uh, carbon will form the carboxylic acid right okay so this uh, this part done okay let's continue okay then if let's say this one break then this part will form co2h2o as i told you just now okay and Let's say this part break. So this part now will form the same molecule, right? Like just now, this one will form this one, right? Okay, so after that, okay, the last one, this one break. When this one break, then uh, this part, this part will form carboxylic acid, okay, like here. 
and this carbon will form the ketone. Okay, this one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so, I, so this carbon will form this ketone, and this one also will form another ketone, right? Okay, so means basically it will form. Okay, how many molecules first? Okay, you see, one. Okay, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, it will form uh, six. Uh, six. Okay, because uh, how many of these product molecules contain a ketone functional group? So it will form six product. 